from today's LPA webinar I'm covering smarter planning and forecasting using Cognos TM1. So on today's agenda, we'll cover a self-analysis of what's what the, what's the process today regarding planning and forecasting. And we'll go through what a company, a typical company does for their process, um, how to do more with less, and then we'll jump right into the planning and forecasting, forecasting demo using Cognos TM1. A reminder, today's webinar is part of a new webinar series offered by LPA Systems. Uh, to register for next month's webinar or to you know, see all of our events, please go to lpa.com forward slash events. So what is your process today for planning and forecasting? Which of the following best describes your current process? Is it very efficient or is it very time consuming? Is it flexible or is it very rigid and stiff? Is it automated like we all like to have or is it still manual? Pretty accurate? or is it actually prone to mistakes? Is it easy to create those roll-up consolidations or reliant top-side adjustments being pushed back down, or not at all? Well, my bet is, you know, your process is probably going to be, look something like this. I'm sure everybody recognizes this. Sure, it's a spreadsheet, and most companies use it handling millions and millions of dollars worth of transactions every single day. And, you know, while it's a great tool, most of these processes often fail. So let's talk about budget for quick, you know, budgeting, forecasting, and a quick process of what most companies do. Corporate creates spreadsheets, and they manually email them out to the individual line of business managers, costs, likewise. Managers update those spreadsheets without true visibility in emails to an approver. Well, the approver then reviews and sends these spreadsheets to be consolidated. Keep in mind, all this is happening through email. Corporate receives those consolidated spreadsheets and reviews them. If there are changes or updates, the entire process begins again. And not all the time, if a top side adjustment happens at, say, the CFO level, do those things get pushed all the way back down to the cost center managers. And all of them, you know, automatically right out of the gate, the numbers do not tick or tie. So what are these roadblocks? I already kind of jumped into it. Well, it's extremely manual, prone to error. There's absolutely no visibility into the workflow at any given time. So you don't know if who submitted their budget, who's um, made some changes. Most times, you have some of the top talent in the company wasting their time just cut, cutting and pasting, combining these spreadsheets rather than actually analyzing the data. As I mentioned, maybe the CFO makes a, a change the data is not always pushed back down from that top side adjustment. There's absolutely no auditing or tracking or back end capabilities. And let's not even get into the ability to do what if scenarios, which is where a lot of value truly lies. So why are spreadsheets so popular? Well, they're very comfortable and familiar. After all, I love spreadsheets. I use them every single day. I, you can do basically anything you want to in your business with them. But these spreadsheets can, are also kind of a breeding ground of risk. Many times they can be inaccurate, they can be untrustworthy, because you know many people are many, doing many different things, or they have, um, there's no source, one source of truth. They're doing the same process across the company in 15 different spreadsheets. They're insecure. You know, it's, there's absolutely no security whatsoever. Um, very fragile. So maybe, makes a typo, all of a sudden uh, maybe a macro breaks. And there's absolutely no automation to the process whatsoever. So how do you do more with less? Well, many people are investing in a solution that's very flexible, scalable as their company grows. It's got to be easy to use and maintain. And after all, this is 2013, so it has to be able to be used on the web. Um, automation is a huge plus. What's the bottom line? Many companies today are using IBM Cognos TM1. So we'll jump right into the demonstration. We'll show you the ability to do IBM Cognos TM1 to analyze data for corporate offices. Not only actually budget, but forecast. Get right down to the nitty and gritty of all those comp key company metrics at the daily level. And of course, you'll be able to use Excel interactively. We'll do this forecasting and planning from a variety of different viewpoints, including the corporate office, the regional and area directors and frontline managers. Brennan, I'll pass the recording over to you. <laughs> 